this just in, the Liver King may be dead, dying. I think he's dying. I lied and I misled a lot of people. Everyone's technically dying, but I think he's dying like faster than most people, like me, for example. I'm dying pretty slow. I've got my beautiful dogs here. And by the end of this video, I will consume them whole because I'm gonna be partaking in some of the Liver King ways. And I will consume these dogs whole, especially Petey, she's delicious. She's like veal, very young, tender. It all equals flavor. A while ago, Death Star Delts exposed Mr. Liver King for being a massive drug abuser. Performance enhancing drugs, of course. He's lost credibility quite a bit over the last year. The Liver King can fall back on the fact that these nine ancestral tenants, for the most part, aren't very sexy. Like, yeah, we should sleep more. We should eat better. We should have a lot of better habits and a lot of which are part of the nine ancestral tenants. But again, this is nothing new. This is nothing that's going to sell. What he has to hone in on is selling and using the charlatan playbook to do so. And before that, he was really kind of an interesting guy. He was a spectacle, truly, a novelty. He would do this. And he would eat balls. He would eat balls. Primals, I'm going to attempt to eat my body weight and testicles today. You can track my progress on the testicle ticker below. The Wibble King has been shunned recently. People have been roasting him in the comments, but he's kind of had a few like micro comebacks. I'm not exactly sure what the f is going on, but for a while now, it seems like the world is forgetting about the Primal King and his ways. Primals, we are here at Battlefield shooting guns. This is Ancestral Tenant 10. Since Derek exposed him a while ago, I've had a lot of time to think about this. It seems as if the Liver King has decided on behalf of the millions who follow him and the millions that will follow him in the future that it is better to not just keep them in the dark about his drug use, but to also lie about it when questioned. I'm in the content world and I'm in the consumption of fitness content world. I like watching these guys. I like learning from Derek. And for a while, I thought the Liver King was pretty interesting. His primal tenants are cool. They're interesting, whatever. He lives in Texas. I live in Texas. It's like, you know, but the whole thing is really f***ed up because the, the, the man rose to fame because of his crazy physique and the things that he was doing to his body that he was making people believe were leading to his physique. Eating testicles, eating raw animal stuff, chasing people, tribes people out in Africa and, and whatnot. Really bizarre stuff. It was primal living that got him to look like a a Greek god, like truly Apollo level of physique here. Shit's crazy. His heart probably pumps more blood with each pump than my heart has ever pumped blood. My heart's small. I have a little tiny heart. His heart was two sizes too small. The Liver King preached the strict and consistent adherence to the nine ancestral tenets that were designed to outline a framework for a lifestyle that would emulate the ways that our ancient ancestors would have lived before the rise of technology and even the discovery of fire. Ah! So the nine ancestral tenets are these forces that have nourished us and shaped us to epigenetically express our highest and most dominant form. It's enabled us to become the baddest mammalian predators that ever lived. Bro went viral for all this stuff. And honestly, a lot of it's pretty cool. The bonding thing, the sun thing, super important. The cold thing, eh, connection thing. All this stuff is pretty good, except for the fight. I'm not sure you really need to fist fight people unless they look like me. Then you should absolutely be fighting, but like fighting for your family, I understand what he's I understand what he's saying. I just, you know, I wanted to say that so people would be like, well, um, actually, Oompa Mill, protecting your family is incredibly important, and that's what the Second Amendment is for in the eighth tenet of the primal living lifestyle. You'd know that if you weren't a fing libtard. You'd know that if you weren't a fing libtard. He even has a Mr. B style video, which is titled, Most Testicles Ever Eaten by One Person. We're going to see how many people we can trick into eating testicles so that we can increase the total testosterone for the entire savage city of Houston. And he opened a food truck to trick people basically into eating ball sacks. If I'm gonna raise the test levels of the whole city of Houston, then I'm gonna need a whole lot of primals getting down on bull balls. <laughs> Chef Lionel, what's on the menu? I'm Liver King Chef Lionel. Here's what we're having for dinner tonight. We're going with the classics, testicles and liver. We're gonna have testicles, lemon juice and lime juice, a little bit of salt as well. And then we have raw liver candied with maple syrup. How much does it cost? 10 push-ups. And 
don't forget, we're going for the record. Lionel, hit me! Only about 3.5 pounds of testicles were eaten, 28 balls in total. That's like one of my balls. I have huge, heavy, dense, thick, creamy nuts, dude. They're creamy, bro. Lever! I can't believe it. We sold out of everything. Liver King called and the primal showed up. This is why I love to call this savage city home. Texas is my backyard. Primal! This man also, on top of building this influence from a lie, essentially, has also built a supplement company. He shills his liver code, his ancestral code, and he's got the ancestral supplements, which, by the way, were doing quite well before he even came into the picture. But, you know, he was obviously in the picture from the very beginning. But before his massive rise of, uh, of fame. His business thrived, no doubt, on the exposure that he got from his ball-eating videos. If he was totally transparent about the financial upside, the explosion of the Liver King brand has had on his businesses, it would likely detract from the noble intentions he portrays his actions to be underpinned by. And that, ultimately, is the crux of the liver king. And all of this was predicated on the idea that if you lived a clean ancestral lifestyle, then you could also achieve what he had. These are our ancestral ways. Do these things to express your highest and most dominant form. Which is just a fucking lie, all right? That's just not true at all. That is incredibly dishonest and every single influencer, anyone in any position of power that's making content and feeding it out to the masses using algorithms, we all know you're being manipulated by everyone. Even if they don't know they're manipulating you, you are being manipulated. Take your phone, press the pause button, go outside, call your mom, tell her you love her, and then do other stuff. Don't watch these videos. <laughs> Liver King's a liar, so am I. So is everybody else. But he's way worse and he's a massive piece of shit and that's what we're talking about today. Claims that he's natural and that what he's, you know, is like living off the nine pillars of health and sustainability or nah. whatever the fuck it is, like liver and testicles and <laughs> drinking blood and like it's, it's a gimmick. Yeah, you can do exactly what he did, especially if you bought his supplements. He's got a lot of supplements. I have some of them I've never tried. I don't really, it just seems like nonsense. I'm not eating no fucking thyroid. What the hell, dude? I have my own thyroid. Why would I eat someone else's? That seems weird. So Everything came out, it was because of Derek made a video about an email he received from Mr. Brian Johnson about consulting with him essentially on how to do more steroids and become jacked and really big and you know, how to abuse performance enhancing drugs but not die because people just die whenever they do it wrong. I've been working out for 35 years. I know how to train, eat, rest and recover. I even have a hard shell hyperbaric chamber at my house. But as I've reached my mid forties, it's getting harder and the back fat kills me. To support these exhaustive efforts, I've recently started taking Omnitrope. So if you guys don't know Omnitrope, this is pharmacy grade human growth hormone. He was even asking how to lose stubborn fat on his back. What the f dude? I feel like he's never been fat. Like how do you even think about losing fat when you're not when you're not fat? That just seems dumb. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know anything about anything, guys. It's probably it. I love his email. His email is so funny. 45 gram protein shake with cold mineral water. 60 gram ductal. 60 gram bevel syrup. 4 farm fresh eggs. Creatine, collagen. All the drugs. Gives you remnant salt. So he does, he does do the lifestyle. So it's, he's been doing it for a long time. That's not a lie. He actually does believe this works. But the doses of Omnitrope. Here's what I'm currently taking. So here's this stack. IGF-1 LR3, presumably. I've been taking this for a year. CJC with IMAP, been taking this for a year. So here, I'm assuming he's talking about CJC1295 drug affinity complex. Like there is a difference between, there's mod GRF 1-29, which is like a shorter acting. We'll get into it later. Even if it's done on a 500 acre ranch paradise where the man who owns it doesn't go bowling or go out to eat or go to the movies, it's still a lie. And after all this shit came out, it was pretty awesome for people like me. I was like, yes, finally, finally, he's a, you know, he's a liar. That's great to see that he's actually been exposed for this in such a funny way. Primals, I'm making this video to apologize because I fucked up, because I'm embarrassed and ashamed, because I lied and I misled a lot of people. And it was kind of a weird response. It was more of a deflection than anything. He said that he didn't do it for himself. He did it for us. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness 
to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates with depression, autoimmune, anxiety, infertility, low ambition in life. Our young men are hurting the most, feeling lost, weak, and submissive. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants, so our people no longer have to suffer, so we can collectively express our highest and most dominant form. This is my fight. This is why I exist. I don't really know what, he, he mentioned suicide and talked about the 4,000 people who do that every single day and the 80,000 people that try and are unsuccessful. I don't really think that being misled into following the ancestral tenets by a guy who looks like a superhero that is lied about a lot of stuff. I don't think that's going to, you know, do anything but further self-esteem issues, in all honesty. I really don't know if it's a self-esteem issue that you're, you know, you're going to be able to appeal to with your image and your, your stuff if you're trying to provide routine for people. I think them finding out that you're lying or just being dishonest from the very get-go is just as bad, if not worse, than just doing it natural and being like, 15% smaller? But still eat the balls, you know, you can still do it. You don't have to be a lying piece of shit. Or whatever. He was also sure to flex his immense wealth during the apology video, which is awesome. This is a complicated as f topic, at least to me it is, because before social media, I was rich and anonymous. And after social media, I'm still rich, but no longer anonymous. And I never expected this kind of exposure in the public eye. Tricky as fuck. I'm a really guy. I'm a guy. I'm really big and stuff. And I lied because people are unhappy. And they're hurting themselves out there. And I'm trying to stop it. Whatever. That's kind of some super villain type shit. I'm going to be honest. And then flexing the wealth on top of it. Kind of a cringe thing to do. The shilling of supplements between me and you. We know that that definitely, he made a lot of money off this. That's why he's being sued by so many different people. I have three companies that make $100 million a year. Liver King as a business is really the CEO of the Ancestral Lifestyle. All we're focused on right now is getting this message out there. How we're doing it is we're getting as many views, we're getting as many impressions. From the time I wake up, I'm creating content. He surely denounced every single implication that his business success had anything to do with his life. The Liver King brand has had nothing or at least very little to do with my business success my companies were already kicking ass already successful before the liver king public figure growing at 50 percent year over year and still growing at the same pace after the liver king public figure. it's highly improbable that 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 the massive overnight success of the liver king personality had anything to do with making money selling supplements i will say the ancestral tenants are solid there's a lot of solid advice and if you're able to look past the lies and feel like you're not being misled, if you do it, it's you're going to be better off, probably. Maybe not with balls, but whatever he's doing, will be. you'll be better off than being anything that has to do with that old cretin from Canada. You know what I'm talking about? That bitch. If this video gets 100,000 likes when Frankie dies, which will probably be soon because she's an inbred pug. Yo, come Comida. De Pero. Liver King's had a bit of a family channel arc as well. It's, to be fair, way less cringe than other family channels. Liver family, liver boys, savage liver boy rad, striper the barbarian, and queen. We're gonna do a yeah, yeah boy, just to get the energy where it needs to be, so that we can have the greatest dinner, the most important meeting of the day. Who's with me? Me. 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 A little more life. This is why we're doing the activator. Exactly. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah boy! Yeah, yeah, boy. 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 Okay. Now it's time. Let's see. And how I've been saying that I want to eat my dogs. He's been eating after his dogs, and that's really that looks worse, to be honest. I think I'd rather eat Petey or Frankie than do whatever the f this is. Look at what we have here: some raw ribeye. Make sure first use your discipline. Use your discipline. You earned it. Good guy. Yeah. Action next. Use your discipline. Wait. Good guy. Yes. And now guess whose turn it is. Use your discipline. Use your... <laughs> Don't lose the name. 
But I earned it too. In the wake of all this, you can imagine he's essentially had all of his credibility disappear. And now he's talking about how much money he's worth, but is like just a last ditch. Out. He has nothing to lose at this point. He's kind of a, a weed now. Just it seems like he's kind of a little bit more off the deep end. I will say though, he did actually stop taking peds after all this came out, I think. And he did genuinely strictly adhere to the ancestral tenets. And he's been doing that for a while, but things are taking a very, very, very strange turn. And that's why I'm, well, that's why I wanted to make this video because it's like, there's some really Really insane shit that's going on in regard to the liver king and i'm i'm gonna be the one to talk about it first all right guys because i'm known for getting out the news on a top uh in a topical no in a fast way what is that word i'm looking for i don't know about for you guys but for me the liver king appeared out of nowhere and he was hiding away in his den spouting knowledge of his primal powers and sharing his magic potion to all content creators who would partake Lots of people were very interested in this. There's been a lot of visitors to the Liver King Ranch. Ancestral Tenant 6 is to get fucking cold. No problem ah! Is this safe? My grandma does this. You go inside yourself. Yeah! You go deep. Tomorrow is you know that I hold the world record for the world's largest pizza? The world's largest pizza. And I think that it's interesting looking at these visitors before everything happened. The Bell Brothers came to visit Liver King, and I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more grateful. Uh, we went and had an awesome dinner yesterday. We had an organ board yesterday. We got on the boat yesterday. We got in the lake yesterday. And you know what else we did? We just wound down the evening with some cold water and just hanging out. Seems like nothing really has changed on the content side, aside from it just being more degenerate and less about being an ant. I don't know. It's like money stuff now. It's kind of weird. JP Sears came to throw his lack of manliness against the merciless trials of the Crucible. How do I look? He's a comedian. That's got any jet fun. An unapologetic woke activist. The CIA killed Kennedy. And top political and scientific analyst. You get annoyed by people who think their moon landing's fake. Yeah. They have no idea the moon is fake. Mm -hmm. Out of all the visitors we are aware that Liver King has had, my favorite is this guy, Jesse James West. His visits to the Liver King Ranch are incredible. This is Liver King. What up, primals? For the next 48 hours, I'm going to eat, train, live, and sleep with Liver King. Hold on. The only person that sleeps with the king is Liver Queen. Yes, sir. He goes fully balls deep into it, doing exactly what the Liver King tells him to do, and it's a con it's con it's a content dream. It's pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, with just waking up minutes ago, what are we doing? The Barbarian. And it's the hardest thing we're gonna do all week! The Barbarian consists of holding 70-pound kettlebells, wearing a 70-pound backpack, 20-pound ankle weights, and pulling 120 pounds on a sled. And it's for a full mile. He just goes in his house and then eats a Literally. Who needs vegetables when you can get down on tech? No, we're already, already. We got pizzle, which is pizza. We got liver, and we got some fresh bone marrow. I know where we need to start, do you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would gladly go to the Liver King Ranch, but I would never eat a dick. I won't eat any of that nasty shit. I don't want to throw up. The people can cook because, because otherwise you'll just chew on this like a piece of gum for about three days. You know, I never thought I'd be having that problem. That's exactly what I imagined it. Is this gonna raise my testosterone? You're gonna grow a second <laughs> I just don't, I don't wanna do that. I don't like that I have some something wrong with me that I can't do that. He made him do two 300 setups. He did it, that's pretty cool. We're gonna do 150, 200, 300 GHD setup, and then we can eat whatever the f we want. And out of everybody, it seems like Jesse James West, whatever the f that guy's name is, he really, really, really tried this stuff harder than most people. Not many people can do the stuff that Liver King advertises genuinely, like the, the Barbarian Challenge. This dude dove in head first and gave it all he had. I definitely couldn't stomach eating a pound of testicles raw and then hitting some crazy ass cardio. I'm good. But yeah, hey, Liver King, if you want me to come down to your ranch, I'll gladly come. But I don't want to do any physical exercise, though. I don't do that anymore. I've given up on that. The first clips we showed with Jesse James West are a little bit older. Jesse James returned more recently, just a few months ago. This is Liver King, and for the next 24 hours, he'll be putting me to the test to see if I have what it takes to become the ultimate barbarian. Move! Oh my God, this is about to be real. This time only for 24 hours, but he walked a mile with a bunch of weight on himself. It's 70 pound kettlebells in each hand. It's 70 pounds in the backpack. It's 120 pounds, already on top of a 65 pound sled. 20 pound ankle weights for one mile. And usually when we do this, it's across 
really nice, neat terrain. Yep. But this is not life. Let's drive. Ooh. Let's get started. Stage one, the Barbarian Crucible begins. Uncaged, your mother Barbarian! Ah! Yeah, 435 pounds, according to a mathematical expert. Me? Jesse struggles with the challenge, of course, but eventually gets to the end. It's impressive. I like this. It's cool. This is by far the worst thing I've done in a long time. And I've done some bad Third bullet. I'd be so pissed if I bailed. Way, way more misery out of bailing. The whole time, though, he's sitting in his recliner using a walkie-talkie. Just got a cigar. He's being a you know, that's just what people do, I think, when they're really rich. I see you, brother. I see you. I know you. You know you. Yep. Right, 600 to go. And this is the fiery gates of hell. That hell that I told you is beneath the concurrent hell that you're living in. Best part of this so far, I'm kicking off the sand. We're no longer trekking through stupid sand. You got a fire in you, right? You got a heart that can beats, that expands and contracts. You got lungs that do the same. One more hay bale, and then it's home stretch. I want to know what the f does he actually do this shit? Does he actually do these challenges? I mean, there's no way I could do this. Literally, no way. I would never want to do this for one, or train to do this for two. But is he? He claims he does this shit every Saturday. How? How does he? How does he partake in this crucible? How? Must be the nine ancestral tenants, or the performance enhancing drugs. No, you. It, Peds or not, it, you, this is tough. This is some hard shit that these, he's really doing. I mean, like, it doesn't take away the fact that he's an actual badass, genuinely. It's just fun to make fun of him on the internet. For real, though, I think he'd blow up. I, I'm not sure how the man hasn't had a heart attack yet. We'll get to that, by the way. How would you... This is not healthy. This is not for longevity. This is actually hurting your body for some kind of just nonsensical re i guess to sell more supplements i really don't know why you would ever do this he had my favorite vlogger at his ranch as well a guy named mo mo vlogs and this guy just doesn't seem like someone who should be visiting the primal king so today we have a very exciting day i'm gonna be spending 24 hours with the liver king himself i'm going to be doing everything you do eating liver going to lions everything no hate to mo or whatever but like this is not exactly my content hey guys what is up welcome back to another video so today we're here at one of the most special houses here in Dubai and what you guys see behind me isn't just a collection of Rolls Royces but each plate number on these cars costs millions of dollars and the owner happens to be one of the richest men in the world I like this police officer that's just clearly photoshopped into the photo that's pretty funny anyways Olmo visited him too and said he was gonna do everything the liver king does which is what I would do, nibbling on raw meat, standing on dirt, and petting tigers. Wow, that's fun. He's way, this is a, a very epic. It's chewy as if it's like this, right? That's true. Is it's very strong if it's like this. Well, it just depends. I mean, if I get this out of my cow, <laughs> it's absolutely safe. It depends on how many hands it's exchanged. It depends on what, where, where it's gone. Delicious, that is an insanely delicious looking steak. I'm gonna be honest, man. I would eat that shit raw, that looks very very high quality so as soon as you wake up in the mornings take off your shoes get in the sun and walk on the dirt That's right. connect with the earth guys first thing in the morning stack the sun in the earth right get the sun on you through the eyes on the face on the skin get yeah. the bare feet connected anchored grounded it's a bit into the earth you say it's pokey yeah. but uh, after a little bit of time your, your feet are going to adapt you're going to have no trouble with it Frick standing on business, stand on dirt. Like me and the liver king. Like us grounding folks. I have a grounding blanket. That's the crazy thing is like a lot of the stuff I do. I have a blanket that connects to my wall because of some studies I read. Probably done by a company that makes blankets that connect to your wall. To be honest. This stuff's fun though. The whole grounding thing. I mean, it's pretty fun. I like, I like the earth. I like mother nature. I like big ups. You know, all this stuff. My little beautiful dogs here. I would gladly, I'll eat them. I'll eat them to keep the circle of life going once they pass. Would I rather burn them or would I rather eat two perfectly delicious corpses? I'm just kidding, by the way. I would never eat my dogs. I am actually kidding. I think people might get weird if I uh, sit, convince them enough that I'm going to eat my dogs. Not to be a hater, but Mo Vlogs performance at Liver King sucked ass. He just wanted to hang out for a minute. This is what I would do, for real. This is 
if i went to the liver king ranch this is some shit i would do jesse james west did a hell of a job and it seemed cool and it seemed interesting and it seemed hard yeah, it looks quite halfway decent peaceful yeah. no? it reminds me of like a big version of my cat <laughs> just goes to show like these these things are strong mm. this is what happens when you actually eat like raw meats and stuff that's right <laughs> you see <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. This is truly the peak time of the Liver King facade, though, when Mo went out there. And it's been an absolute decline since then. It's been sad. I keep seeing shit on TikTok that I'm like, what the f***? Like this? What, what is wrong with this guy? Is he all right? I hope he's all right. He's all strapped up, looking like f***ing uh, somebody who's strapped up or whatever. You know? So now the primary facet of the Liver King zeitgeist is the fact that he seems to be dying or something he seems to be very sick and i think he might just be playing it up for the internet or whatever but his eyes all fucked up and he keeps getting he just looks bad a lot he looks gray no he's still like leather he still looks like leather i was gonna say he looks gray but we look gray we don't look like leather he looks like leather and we look gray the recent liver king arc is a similar arc that we've seen amongst other royal monarchs drastic scary deterioration of health that's the liver king and King Charles. He don't look too good. Did he die? No, he's still alive. What the fuck? It's almost as if the ancestral tenants don't work, guys. He doesn't look too good. I don't know. This is funny, though. That's squat number one. That's enough for today. That's right. Move. I don't really understand this. He's being a fat guy, I guess. What a bizarre fascination with f fat people we have. Isn't that biz bizarre? That is quite literally the liver king if he wasn't a fucking steroid freak. Just kidding. No, he'd probably still be jacked as fuck. No, he he wouldn't probably be. He would still look better than 99.9% .9 of the entire population if he if he never took any steroids, to be honest with you guys. Because he's short, too. If you're short and you have a consistent diet and you exercise consistently, it's good. It's good. I've been seeing that stuff recently a lot. Him being real sick and also ads on Twitter that he's been taking out and, and purchasing to get more and more people to view his content, to draw in more suckers into the primal tenets. I like to imagine that he's powered the same way as Santa's sleigh in the movie Elf and that if you believe in him, he'll have more power. And now that nobody believes in him, he's powerless and he's just like a normal cringe influencer who has a lot of money. Permission to die, the doctor said. Say no risks, play it safe, stand in line. Is that really living though? In this very important moment, I become the thing I've always wanted to be. Only if you bleed for it. The risk and the pain commensurate with the reward and the pleasure. And his arms hurt and he looks like he's dying. Poor guy. What's all this stuff? What's all this stuff? Who's this Frankenstein character here? So he lost an arm and it seems like he lost an eye as well. There's a lot of stuff about his eye being all messed up. It's just ironic that he has eye health supplements that he actively sells, which is pretty funny because he looks like his eyes. Hey guys, guess what? His eyes don't look too, too healthy. I guess he won't see that coming. I guess that uh, his, uh, he's, he took his eye off the ball. Real man takes his spear to aim before he takes his fork to eat. In the wild and warmth, the flavors of success are revealed. Not in having, but in earning. And it brands a smile deep into the center of the soul. Just, life just takes better when you bleed and the body renews. He did post a TikTok explaining what happened to his eye. He had the sound disabled, so we couldn't really listen to it. I think it was maybe a UMG strike down. They own his voice, potentially. Primals want to know what happened to Liver King's eye. Better question, what didn't happen to Liver King's eye? Truth is, this inquiry is one of the most brutal Liver King's battle law. We can buy something never see again. Yep, that's right. Shit got real for a second there. And when shit gets real, we are reminded wholeheartedly to focus on things about la 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 la. Uh, luckily he uploaded that shit to instagram as well and it actually has uh the sound he sustained an eye injury that left him blind in that eye and at one point blind in his other eye as well though the vision has returned to his good eye what happened what is the injury just asking about the eye here's the deal I sustained a pretty serious injury. I want to see him eat his own eyeball is what I want to see, guys. I want to see him upload a video of me. I almost want to know, what am I having for breakfast? My own eyeball and my ball sack. <laughs> Surgeons apparently told him that he would lose his eye and there would be no way uh, to regain the sight. And then one surgeon told him that there's a slight chance, but he's doing everything he can to uh, regain the use of that eye. But he doesn't say how he got the injury. All right. And luckily there's another video where he 
finally gets to the point as to what happened to his eye and he sustained the injury by working out with bands that were attached to a doorknob and they detached from the anchor point and he punched himself in the fucking face. The bands snapped into his eyes. Boom, 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 <laughs> snap. It comes off the anchor point, both of them. Two fists to head, bands right into the eye and then head to four, out fucking cold. And then he fell and hit his head on the concrete and knocked himself out. I assume the occipital part of his brain, the occipital lobe, it's in the back of your head. That's why when you hit, hit uh, the back of your head, it's like <laughs> your vision just <laughs> disappears, you know? If you've never done that, don't do it. It's terrible. But the whole band hitting your head, dude, one time I was uh, I was doing like something like this. I don't know what that, uh, like a uh, fucking a fly. That's what it's called, a fly, like, a, like a, a band fly or something, but it was more so just for my shoulders. It was really light. It's maybe a 15 pound band and it had a little bracket at the end of it and I stuck it in this thing and then I was doing this and I was I was moving it like that and then it came off as soon at the end the, at the apex of my movement and it hit me right in the back of my fucking head and it made my ears ring for like three days and felt like it almost knocked me out. Shit is dangerous, man! So stop working out. Follow the nine ancestral tenets of Oompaville. My ancestry, all losers. The first tenet do nothing the second tenant feel entitled to everything he also gave more details about his injury in a confessional on his website liverking.com which we love he also claims he has brain damage turns out liver king is strong enough to knock self out concuss kill brain tissue imagine what i could do to a lesser primal yes it's embarrassing as fuck. yes it's serious as fuck. Yes, I'm dealing with a host of issues related to the concussion brain and eye. Good. Lingering symptoms, two neurologists, two EEGs, appears the brain isn't firing in synchronicity and is behaving like a TBI. Hey man, take it easy. Don't don't do don't do don't be eating so many balls. All right, do something healthy for once. Okay? I think balls are healthy. I think eating animals is healthy. I really do, especially dogs. Recently deceased from natural causes. Farm fresh. All right, guys. Farm fresh pepperonis. All right? All right, little doggy. Oh my God, I'm going to consume you. I'm going to eat you whole. In the wake of this injury and the seemingly deteriorating health of Liver King, because there's all these, you know, other videos of him hooking himself up to machines and just not explaining it. But here's the thing. There's always 126 ways to solve for any problem. Uh, well, what, how, how, how are you solving the problem? The problem is still here. What's going on? Why you age so much, bro? It's the roids. I knew you never got a haircut. It's not that. It's, it's definitely the steroids, bro. Why your face look like you're about 80? There's speculation out there that he's just lying again because he's exaggerating stuff to just get views because he's... Why not? Why wouldn't you just lie continuously? There are also creators who feel that he is lying as well. Check out this video he posted himself. Would he really be training this hard within a week? Could this possibly be some kind of a stunt? You have to show the people something. Doctor paperwork, emergency paperwork some type of proof that this really happened proof. well you can see the official diagnosis right here the eye <laughs> is fucked. i know there's been a lot of questions online about the legitimacy of the eye i get it i completely deserve it the truth is i was never even going to share any of this about the eye uh, partially just because I thought, how fucking embarrassing. This addressing does make more sense. I have to give him the credit where credit is due. It does. It, I feel like he's an honest guy overall. Really, I, I genuinely believe that. I think that the whole ped fiend thing, you know, better than being a fit fiend or coke fiend, I guess, like other creators are, I think. I don't know. I have no proof of that. But I feel like if this guy is the biggest piece of shit out there, then we could definitely have worse, you know? A lot worse. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh! Oh my lord! Seems like Liver King's trying desperately to heal his eye, and I don't blame him. He's performing transferences of seances by eating primal cereal, which is eyes and milk, which is fucking disgusting and absolutely disturbing. Look at my primal bowl of cereal. I got oh, a bowl yes. of eyeballs here. I got 18 eyeballs from bulls and from goats. Some fresh milk from Dude. Liver King Ranch. There's my primal cereal. What, you don't think an eye for an eye is actually a real deal? This guy has such balls. I really have to say like that. He's holding back tears in this video. You can tell at the end. This has got to be just who wants to eat eyeballs? Nobody. Literally nobody. That isn't his only primal cereal though, guys. Check out this primal cereal. In the modern world, Balls. we like to have our bowl of cereal, don't we? No, we don't. I don't like cereal. I don't really like cereal that much. I'm not a big cereal guy. I eat a couple types of cereal. I Sometimes I eat Magic Spoon and uh, one of them 
fucking giant round balls. Mini wheats. Sometimes I eat frosted mini wheats. That is it though. I don't like cereal. Anyways, one thing I can't help but notice is this guy loves putting balls in his mouth. Remember that wound he had on his arm earlier? He tore his bicep while wrestling one of his sons, one of his primal sons. Here's a video of the wrestling. I don't know why I'm showing this, but he, he could whoop their asses for sure. I don't know why they're pretending like he has a chance at all. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Oh, oh God. Uh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, happened oh, oh oh yeah i okay, knew it was out. already hurt as oh man wow when he's hurt he, i actually feel sympathy for him he seems real real af when he's hurt like that guys maybe he should be more like himself when he's hurt he posted a fucking thing about this as well bicep tear healing protocol i did liver getting gary's bicep in spite of the injury he still does jujitsu with his sons or wrestles them or whatever which i i get that totally i've hurt my fucking right shoulder so many times dude i've hurt my left shoulder so much that it just it just uh it it comes out of its um its home a little bit there which cannot be good this injury has affected his daily life quite substantially he needs his wife to put his undies on his socks and his shoes and then tie his shoes for him, which is awesome. That's what wives are for. I've I've heard. I don't know. I don't have a wife yet. All right, guys. I might find out one of these days. I'm not sure. This morning, my wife put my underwear on me because I couldn't do it. And then she put my socks on me, making sure to get all the creases out, you know, just like she was putting them on her own feet. And I was feeling so agitated and restless, and I could feel the stress that she had going on that she didn't have the time to do this for me he also mentions that he's been such a burden on his wife good guy liver king self-aware liver king here he didn't want to bother his wife with opening up his pain meds so he just didn't take the fent all right he just didn't take he didn't pop the f's so he didn't sleep despite that being a core ancestral tenant what the fuck is wrong with you liver king what the fuck is wrong with you you sick and last night i couldn't sleep because the pain was so fucking severe in the arm that i tried to go get a fucking pain pill to end it and i couldn't and open the bottle and I didn't want to ask her for help so I didn't so I didn't fucking sleep last night I learned my lesson maybe kind of sort of well I asked her for help today and she put my fucking underwear on me so that I could do this yeah way fucking stronger man not only are you lying now you're straying from the path the holy path what about the great journey you fuck? his next post reveals that he can no longer put testosterone cream on his cooker, which is awesome this morning I found out that I couldn't open my own fucking bottle of testosterone. I found out I couldn't open a protein bottle. I couldn't open my own fucking door. And then there's this video of the, 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 the doctor saying he's gonna die or whatever. The doctor told me to take it easy. He said to take up crossword puzzles, fishing. He told me to play the card game solitaire, permission to die. No risks. Play it safe. Wife! What's an eight-letter word for P-E-Ds? <laughs> what on the f***ing liberty? That's such great cut. I'm the liver king. <laughs> This fucking guy's down an eye, an arm. He's got a traumatic brain injury. Soon he'll be down a hip or a leg or God forbid, a heart, maybe a shoulder, potentially a foot. I also think he's back on steroids as well. He's getting back on it. I saw that. I'm not going to fact check it. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. He looks like he is. That's all that matters really, I guess. Anyways, guys, there are much worse influencers out there beside the liver king. Shit! <laughs> He really is not that bad of a guy. On the whole, a lot of the stuff's pretty healthy stuff to do. I don't know about eating balls and shit, but like just being a good person and caring about your family and sleeping and stuff, it's good for you getting some sun. There's a lot of good stuff that he's, he's taking it to the next level. It's cringe for sure, but like, I don't know. Do we hate, is there other stuff? Like eating, he killed, he killed a, I forget exactly what he did. He killed some kind of living creature just to eat in one, one video or whatever. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. He's super primal, bro. He's super primal. Compared to the kick guys, 
He's a saint. Gonna be honest.